Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at NECA's Alien vs. Predator the arcade game Chrysalis Alien which is one of the ones I was most looking forward to just because we have that stark contrast of the dark bluish grayish greenish color with the bone kind of tan color and it just looks really cool. It stands out on a shelf and these AVP figures have been pretty fun so far. The three Predators were kind of nice. So, I wanted to get this, and now it's here, and it's time to review it. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands with his legs bent a little bit because you're not going to stand him up straight completely. To the top of his carapace, roughly, let's say eight, let's just say eight and a half inches, give or take. And that's going to make him about 22 centimeters, pretty close to that. And you're probably wondering how big is he compared to the uh, one of the AVP predators. Well, let me grab one. I'll grab the one that is most commonly used for speed runs, I found out. I watched some speed runs of this game because I'd never seen the game played before. And there you go. I think maybe the alien's a little small. I think these named ones, although some of the little ones have, were named too, but this is like one of the boss ones, or I guess it shows up at the end boss fight in this color combination. I think it's a little bigger. It should be bigger based on the game, but I could be wrong, but I think it should be. Anyway, there you go. There's a size comparison right there. Almost the same color scheme too for these guys. Pretty cool looking figure though. Looks nice against the Predator. And so, aesthetics. It's... It's pretty good. It's your standard NECA aesthetics for the most part. It is a lot less arcadey than a lot of their arcade type stuff because there's no real way to do pixelation on a sculpt like this. So it just has some highlights like right here. These are highlighted clearly. The arms are highlighted pretty heavily. But otherwise it's just, I mean even there, it's mostly just dry brushing on top of sculpt. So it's not particularly arcadey. Even the bone things, it's really just dry brushing. There's a little bit of shading up here on the carapace, but otherwise it's just a whole lot of dry brushing. The nails are painted, tails painted, it's all fairly standard looking. So aesthetically it's not much unlike your average NECA aliens. So I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It looks pretty good, but it doesn't have much of an actual arcade appeal. And I know there's nothing they could do about that, but that is still what it is. So it looks really good. It's accurate color wise, but doesn't have any sort of stylized paint job really. All right, moving on to the accessories. Uh, there are none, so zero out of 10. Moving on to the articulation. Well, this does make it stand out a little bit. We're gonna start with the tail though, so I don't forget it. There is a swivel down here. Mine is not pegged in very well. You see that gap? Maybe that's universal, maybe it's not, I don't know. The other ones don't have that issue, so whatever. Yours may not, it might. It's very bendy, it works very well. It's a very bendy tail, it's, it's a very good bendy tail. The wire does stop right at the end, so that, that should be good, because you don't want to be curving this piece, that wouldn't make sense. So they did a good job with the bendy tail for sure. Now as far as the head goes, it's kind of unique. We'll get to that unique feature in a second. There's a swivel hinge for the neck itself. So you can lean the whole head forward and back and then it rotates. And that's it for the neck. It doesn't have anything lower than that. It's just this one swivel hinge. But the cool thing is the regular mouth is hinged and you do get this guy in here. It's sometimes a little tricky to get out, but it does come out like that. There you go. But that's not all. Wait, there's more. If you kind of lift up on this and pull on the head a little bit, or a lot because it's really in there, it does that. It is rather phallic and it does scratch the paint if you're not extra careful. I don't know that I did that just now because I don't think I touched it, but maybe I did. Anyway, be very careful with that. But you do get this, and this can move around, and it is gross. But it is there, and I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. I don't remember seeing them do this, because I was watching a speed run though, so I didn't get to see a lot of the things that would normally show up. But it does swivel around and move a little bit from there. I would never do that. I don't like it. Gross. We don't want any phallic aliens. Any more phallic aliens than what we've already got. So I would leave it just like that. That's fine. But you do have that option. Okay, moving on. For the shoulders, your standard swivel hinge. Nothing new here. A lot of this is the same. In fact, I'm guessing a lot of these parts are reused. This almost looks like maybe the, uh, the Xeno from Covenant. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So we have a swivel hinge for the upper arm, swivel hinge for the lower arm, and double jointed elbow. And you get plenty of range out of that, so that's really good. No issues there. Wrist swivel and hinge. It's all pretty standard. Hinged fingies. Ball peg for the torso. Mostly just a swivel on this guy, so maybe it's not the Covenant one. I remember it having better range, but I could be wrong. 
ball peg, but mostly just a swivel. Hips have a hinge and a rotation at the hip and then at the thigh. So it's essentially a ball hinge. And somehow this one doesn't have any peg holes. You can see right there and there's no peg holes on his crotch, yet this one does have a peg hole on the front and the back, and this one doesn't have it on either. That's really strange. The knee is a swivel hinge with a regular hinge, so plenty of range, that's really good, and rotation. Then the ankle's just a really good ball peg. It's one of the better ones that they've done. The ankle is a really good ball peg, really good range. Very nice, like that. Could be a little stiffer, that's what she said. And then the toe has a hinge in it, so all in all, very good articulation. No issues that really stand out. And it's a really sharp looking figure. So articulation wise, I'm gonna give it a um, eight out of 10. It works pretty well. Torso could be better, but otherwise it's pretty good. And then it's just a really cool figure. So if you're into unique looking Xenomorphs, this is the way to go for sure. Cause you're not gonna get this in a movie. That's for sure. And it looks really nice. I like the blue and then the tan and the dark and the light. It's a, it's a nice, comp nicely composed character design. And NECA did a good job capturing it for the most part, even though it's a little less stylized than it could be. I don't know how much better they could have really done for this price point. So final verdict is I'll, I'll give it an eight out of 10. They did a pretty good job. I like it. I think you will too. And we will leave it at that. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have thousands of videos already on the channel waiting for you. And then I also have new videos out just about every single day. So make sure you come back for all of that good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.